when I was 14, I got my first job. I worked at a fast food place, basically just making hamburgers. I was 14 years old and I stayed at that job for about a year. After that, I left. I took a couple years off and I got back to work at 17. When I turned 17, I got my other job and then another job. And since then, I've worked two jobs. Even when I was in school. And I will continue to have two jobs now that I'm starting back up school again. And I even have an interview next week for a third job. And people around me say, Alex, you're crazy. Alex, how can you deal with it? How can you deal with so much responsibility, so many things? How do you do it? The answer is, because if I don't, I'll feel like I'm a worthless human being. That's how I was conditioned. That if I'm not doing anything productive, I'm worthless. And on most days, I can deal with it. On most days, it's easy to juggle all of these things. But on some days, like today, it gets to me. And I'm tired. I'm tired of just trying to survive. And it's not necessarily about the monetary value or to have a lot of money that I'm doing this. It's actually because it's the only thing that gives me a sense of worth to do things, to fill my time up with things. Because if I don't, I'm left with myself. And if I'm left with myself, all I get to do is tell myself how much I hate myself. How I'm not doing anything with my life, so I should be more productive. What a, what a messed up thing this is. And I know that I'm, I'm not the only one. I know that we are now more than ever conditioned to do this, not only because we need it in this current economy, but also because our, se our sense of self-worth is driven by how much work we do, how much work we put into things. And I came to the realization that I can never achieve the things that I want to achieve if I don't work my ass off. And boy, do I work my ass off. And look, I'm not one to complain usually. Usually I'm pretty happy with my situation. I really wouldn't have it any other way, honestly. I love having variety in my jobs. I love having variety in my life. I love learning new things and putting myself into new situations. But this is all because I'm trying to escape the current me. I'm trying to escape how I really feel about myself. And I'm not sitting with myself and thinking about why do I hate myself so much that I have to put myself through all of this? Why is it do I gain such a sense of worth solely by killing myself through work, through doing things, through challenging myself, beating myself up consistently and constantly? Because any moment... I'm ever not doing anything. Every moment I'm relaxing. Every moment I'm watching a TV show or playing a game or reading a book. I feel like I'm useless. So I'm tired of surviving. I'm tired of doing this solely to appease my mind. To live. To make myself feel better. Because this for me is how I cope. And people in my life are like, you gotta be careful, Alex. You don't you don't wanna burn out. You don't wanna do this. You don't wanna do that. I want the burnout. I want the burnout because at least then with a burnout, the burnout is proof that I, I'm doing something rather than doing nothing and staying complacent. It's crazy that we torture ourselves and we find pleasure. I find pleasure 
through torturing myself. I find meaning through torturing myself. And on most days, it doesn't feel like torture. On most days, it just feels like, ah, look, it's just Alex doing her thing, working hard. But at the end of the day, what is it good for? Literally, my day-to-day looks like this. I would work a full day. I don't know, 12 to 8, 12 to 9. I would, or I would do a shift 10 to 3 at one job, 4 to 9 at another. On my free time, I write an idea for a video, or I film a video, or I edit a video, and that's it. And then there are moments where I'm not doing anything and I'm sitting there. And it feels like my mind conjures up all of these ideas sitting with myself and thinking, why do I feel this way? And it's a lot of reasons, really. Feeling that I need to care for my family. Feeling that I want to give back to my family of immigrants. Feeling like I'm the only child, so I am the only hope left. Feeling like all of my peers around me are fairly successful and I am doing nothing. Or there's people around us on our social media saying how easy it is to make this and this amount of money with this and this amount of trick. Just buy my course, just do this. Everybody's just trying to sell a product. Everybody's just going through these ridiculous means in order to get money. And it seems so easy for everybody that it makes any other job feel useless. It makes any other regular schmegular job unsustainable to the regular person. And so we work hard. We have three jobs. We have this. We we push ourselves to our limits. We, we're, we, be, we become slaves. Literal slaves, not only to corporations, but to ourselves. And all of us, we have our coping mechanisms, the ways we, we try to escape from the, the inner work, the inner sufferings that we have within ourselves. And for me, it's literally, I have no, I am not a drug addict. I am, I am so, I, I don't do any drugs. I, I don't do any reckless behavior. The, the one reckless thing that I do is I work three jobs like a psychopath. And go to school. All because I want to feel worth it. I want to feel like I'm worth something. Even if I know that no matter how much I do, no matter how much I work, no matter how much money I make or don't make or whatever, I will never feel worth it. Because it's not about what you make or the successes you have or anything that you achieve in life, no matter how much you work. It's about how you feel internally in the present moment. And God, it is difficult. It is difficult to sit with yourself and your feelings. But today, on this day where I'm tired of surviving, I'm tired of working so hard just to feel something. On days like this where I'm tired, so exhausted, I'm sitting with this feeling and I look at myself and I think, this is who you are. Stability is scary. At least for me it is. I need these jobs to survive. Not solely for monetary reasons, but to keep my mental health in check. Because if I wasn't doing all of these jobs on my day-to-day, doing different things every single day, I would go insane. So I'm just trying to survive. I'm just trying to cope. I'm just trying to figure it out. How to have a better relationship with myself. Where I could feel the most amount of joy. I wouldn't really have it any other way. Anyway, uh, (laughs) that's it. Um, Thanks for watching and uh, have a great night.
拜。